having trouble with fuel pressure. We need the fuel pressure to the sniper. And we were building up pressure in the tank. So, um, I gotta get a bent cap for one. But even with the cap loose, the pressure line coming back. Let's see here. Pressure line coming back to it, which is there. It's like building up pressure. The line itself is clear, but going in the tank, it isn't. And then there's the feed that goes up to the front. And we have to disconnect the exhaust pipe because they put that right in front of the tank. And now. I get up here and disconnect these two hoses so we can drop the thing out. That's the only two things holding us up. There's these bad boys right here. So let's get on with it. A little update on the fuel system. This nut gone. And then you got the flow it was showing empty and we know why so I ordered a new sending unit and returning the fuel back to the tank through a check valve isn't too bright of an idea I cut this off drilled the hole out in it and then I'm gonna affix a pipe to it so that I can get it to go to the bottom of the tank or I ordered a new tank so when I get the new tank uh, I may just weld the fitting because I got a, a pass-through fitting. I might just weld the fitting in the top of the tank and run a pipe tube to the bottom so the return doesn't cause aeration. But let me go out here. What are you doing? I'm gonna trim some, trim some bushes. Let me go show you the tank real quick. The hardest part, I got the grommet out of here. The hard part's gonna be finding this. I did find it for like 50 bucks, which is seven dollars less than the tank itself. Like a little kit that comes with those two hoses. But yeah, this tank is bad it, dude. It is full of rust and crust. I think I was trying to run the sniper on that. Very lucky we got pre and post filters going for the EFI. Or it would have really screwed some stuff up. <laughs>